Thank you once again for joining me on Crunch Econometrics. As a continuation of what we did on panel data, I'm going to show you how you can engage descriptive analysis within your sample. But before I continue, I want to sincerely apologize to all my online audience that I cannot generally attend to all stata questions. So in case you have uh, questions regarding stata, you can use any of these options I've shown on the screen. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can obtain descriptive statistics involving any outcome variable that is in your study. In my own case, it's the Gini coefficient. So I'll be using tabular forms to assess statistics of the Gini coefficient involving the regions, the income groups, and the various Gini categories, and also across the countries. So try to build your panel data to include different categories. Other tutorials, I will cover the graphical plots using bar charts, histograms, and scatter plots, also across the regions, income groups, and the genetic categories. All these are also part of the descriptive statistics that you can include in your research. Please, before you watch this video, endeavor to watch the one I did that I titled Tips to Building Panel Data in Stata. So click on the playlist in this video description to watch that video. What we are about to do today is a continuation of what was done in that tutorial. As a recap, when you are building your panel data, you have to generate identifiers, reshape the data, classify the groups, categorize the outcome variable, and also create dummy variables. So once again, endeavor to click that playlist to watch the video titled Tips to Building Panel Data in Stata. So if you are ready, load your data and let's get started. So here in my data editor, as a continuation of what we did in the previous video, I have the countries from Albania to Zambia. So I have 141 countries in this panel data. We also created so many categorical variables, region, income group, and genetic categories. So these are what we are going to use to engage descriptive statistics in this tutorial using tabular forms. So before we begin, we have to execute this command to get stata ready for panel data analysis. This is the xt set command. I have executed it and this is the outcome. So we are ready to proceed. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you can obtain among the countries, those with the lowest Gini index or Gini coefficients and those with the highest Gini coefficients. So the first thing we have to do is to execute this collapse command. I've highlighted it, I'll execute. So let's see the outcome in our data editor. So you can see here now what you have here is the average Gini coefficient for each country from 2000 to 2012. All the countries are here, 141 of them. So to obtain the first 10 countries with the lowest Gini index and the um, least 10 countries with the highest coefficients, this is the command. First thing you have to execute the sort Gini command. It will arrange the Gini from the lowest figure to the highest figure. So let me execute that. So here we can see that the Gini is sorted from the lowest to the highest. So from 1.97, which is the lowest, to 0.647, which is the highest. So having sorted the Gini index, let's now obtain the countries with the lowest and the highest coefficients. I've highlighted the command to be executed. I execute. So we have our results. This is the first 10 countries with the lowest Gini coefficients. And this is the last 10 countries with the highest Gini coefficients. So you can easily make comparative analysis in your research concerning these statistics. What if you need specific summary statistics, maybe by country or by region or by income groups or by year? I have listed some commands here. For instance, if you want to obtain the Gini statistics for a country, this is how you list it. If you want to obtain it by region or by income groups or by year. So let me execute this and let's see what we have. So on the screen, you can see that um, if you want to obtain the Gini statistics for your country, this is it. For instance, this is for Canada. 
if you want to obtain it by region this is for middle east if you want to obtain it by income groups this is for countries classified as upper middle income group and if you want to obtain it by year for instance this is for 2008 so you can easily obtain different statistics using different dimensions for your study i'm also going to show you how you can tabulate the Gini coefficients by region, across income groups, across Gini categories. So you can see the tab commands here. The first one is income group by region, followed by income group by Gini category, then region by Gini categories. So let me highlight all this and run. Here you can see the categorization. The first one is income group by region. So you can see the income groups here. And you can see the region. So the regions occupy the columns from the way I arranged it and the income groups and the rows. So if you divide each of the figures here by 13, you can easily obtain the numbers of countries that fall into this category. If you look at the income group and unit category table here, the observations here, the frequencies here are just the observations, not countries. And lastly, you have this table that looks at region and Gini category. So across the regions, you have the various observations that fall into the different categories of inequality. By having categorizations in your panel data, you can easily make different summary statistics that will make your study more engaging. But what if you want to obtain Gini statistics by income groups and by the regions, or you want to obtain it by income groups and by the category of inequality? So this is a command that you can use. I'm going to highlight all these and execute. So this is the first one we executed. Income group by region, it gives us the average Gini index in each region and by income group, it also gives us standard deviations and the frequencies. So at a glance, you can easily see um, the, the statistics of Gini coefficients by region and across the various income groups. If you divide the numbers shown here as frequencies, you can easily obtain the number of countries that fall within each category. Then next here, you have the tabulating income group by Gini category. So you have the categories here of inequalities in the columns and the income groups and the rows. The frequencies here are not the number of countries. You cannot get number of countries here, but you can only get observations that fall in this category. So that means 475 observations fall within uh, very low inequality and high income group um, classification. Lastly, maybe you want to check Gini statistics by year. First, you have to sort here. So I'm going to highlight this and execute it. So let's see what we have in our data editor. You can see that the year variable is sorted from the lowest year to the highest. So this is from 2000 now to 2012. So the year is sorted. If you don't um, execute the sort command, you won't be able to perform this um, operation. So now we want to obtain the Gini statistics across the years by income groups, by region, and by Gini category. So I'm going to highlight all this and execute. So here we have the first one idea, which is tabulating year by income group. We have the income groups occupying the columns, and we have the years occupying the rows. So you can easily see that, for instance, maybe in year 2003, we have 43 observations falling under high income groups, and you can see that their average unit index is 0.324. So you can bring out the same assertion across different years in the sample. You can do the same thing if you want to look at regional uh, classifications according to the years. So these are the regions and the columns. And in year 2000, we have 18 observations in the EAP region. And the average index in that period is 0 0.46. So a lot of statistics can be generated from all these simulations. The last command we executed is a tab Gini category command where we have the categories and the columns and the years occupying the rows. So at a glance also, you can see the number of observations that fall within the inequality category and the corresponding years. So again, for instance, you can say that in year 2002, 15 observations fall under high inequality and the average in index in that period is 0 0.56. So that is for year 2002. You can also use this table to make different comparative analyses within your data.
So guys, this is a simple tutorial on how you can obtain descriptive statistics within your panel data. I know that some of you out there may even know better codes than what I've shown you. But this tutorial is actually tailored towards beginners, those who are just starting out to use the Stata software. Thank you for staying with me. If this tutorial has been helpful, please give me your feedback, give me your thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can share my link and these videos to your friends and to your cohorts in different platforms. If you are just starting out on econometrics, please stay with Crunch Econometrics. This channel is dedicated to beginners and intermediate users. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with more interesting videos.